FC was the first person shot, the most seriously injured of the survivors. In fact, his medical bills costing over $1,000 per day. I talked to him today about his recovery along with the killers who he calls evil. The crime is shocking, but for John Ellis, it is a memory that will haunt him forever. I think about it every day. Somebody asked me, did I cry about it yet? It's, I can't get it out. Ellis spoke to us today for the first time since the attack at the backyard cookout in Wilkinsburg. Five people and an unborn baby were killed in the ambush. Ellis survived, but is paralyzed. And I can't walk now. But I almost passed, passed away too because they hit one of my arteries, but I pulled through and I'm glad that I pulled through so I can talk about the situation. Ellis told me he went next door to that cookout on Franklin Avenue last month to get some food. He says as the friends built a bonfire and started the grill, someone started shooting. Then all I heard was pop, 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 pop. So my, the first shot, I must have got shot first. Ellis tried to run before falling next to the house. And that's when I heard the, the bigger gun start shooting. So I said, just lay there and play dead and, 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 and wait. Did you see the shooters? No, I had my back facing towards the front. So that's why I didn't know what was going on. For that reason, he doesn't have any idea about who the shooters are, but he has no doubt they will pay for this heartless crime. They're evil. I hope they get what's coming to them. Now, Ellis says he has never seen the two men that police here have been questioning about these murders, including one who was named a suspect. Allegheny County Police are asking anyone with information about that backyard cookout shooting to give police a call. And there's a $20,000 reward for information. Reporting live at Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Bob.